This is a patient uh, of the Baker cyst. So, see the Baker cyst. So, here what is important when I'm scanning a little bit up. So, this is your semi tendinosus and this is your semi membranosus. It bulges between the semi membranosus and this is your gastrocnomius. So, the Baker cyst comes out from there, means semi tendinosus, semi membranosus, and your gastrocnomius, medial head of the gastrocnomius. So, semi membranosus is pushed here. This is semi tendinosus. So, you are giving local anesthetic injection just below the semi tendinosus. So there is a septa. Many times you'll be getting this kind of septa. And if you're having the septa, just from this pocket, if you're aspirating, you may not be able to aspirate it fully. So sometimes we need to, you know, give the different septa. You see, this is a clear septa. And you'll be seeing when you're aspirating. So when you're aspirating from superficial sac, okay, so the needle is just below the, this is a semi tendinous tendon. So just below that we are going. The, the cyst bulges out in the subcutaneous plane. So below the tendon, we are same membranous as tendon we are going. And from the medial side, medial to lateral. So now we are inside the sac. And then we are aspirating. Remember there is a septa here, you know. So, this part is taken care, but you see this part, the fluid is not coming because of the septa, this septa. So, what we did, we redirected the needle below here in this part of the sac. And some synovial hypertrophy is there. Many times, Becker's cyst is associated with the inflammatory arthropathy. We have to take care of that. So, after going to this part of the sac, then we aspirate it. And then we inject a little bit of steroid and then that accomplish the procedure. Because this is very common and also the aspiration and the treatment is one of the very easy and very simple technique.